All right, so before you do anything with the arc droid, one, you want to bring the arm out slightly. And then on the tablet here, you're going to want to hit home. And you'll see the arm will move. It'll home itself. That way it knows where it's at and where its starting point is. Okay. So after that's done, what we're going to do on here is we're going to go to, well, the other thing to note is you need to make sure you have a memory stick in here. Everything that we're doing now is going to be saved to this. So you're going to go to trace and we are going to doodle. We're going to sketch, which is that guy right there. Second down from the top. Actually, no, I'm lying to you. What we're going to do is we need circles first, right? We need these circles. So first thing we're going to do is simply hit this button. It's going to say a circle. Okay. And now we're going to move that with the stylus in it and move the arm to the first circle that we want to cut. The knob on the right here moves our torch up and down or our stylus up and down. So if I turn it to the left, it's going to take it down so it makes contact with the metal. I'm going to center that, okay? I'm going to center it on there. And now to tell that, tell the arc droid that I want to circle there, I can do one of two things. I can hit this button. This knob, this dial is also a button, or there's a button on the stylus I can hit. Since I'm right in front of you, I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit that. Now it's asking me for values. Okay, what diameter do I want that circle to be? So now I need to take a tape measure. I'm going to walk over here to the compressor. Measure that, and it is... So three eighths is what? Point three. Three eighths diameter point three seven five in a decimal. So that's the diameter. And then you have your X and Y. X and Y, I think it goes that way. X and Y location on the pad here. So we're gonna hit enter. Enter again, and that's our first one. Now to lock it in, do we want it to cut on the inside or the outside of the hole? We want it to cut on the inside with a lead in of a one eighth of an inch. So it'll blow a hole in the center, an eighth an inch from the where your cut mark is, and then it'll start turning or start burning. So that's, that's our first one. So, enter. Second hole. We're going to do this three more times. Super simple. Come over here. I'll lower this down manually. I'm just going to drop the stylus right on the center of that hole where I want it. Simply going to hit enter on here again same thing it saved the last circle right eighth inch lead in um, three eighth inch hole enter so there's two one and two okay we're gonna do that two more times Gonna hit the button on the stylus this time. What the stylus is gonna do is plot that other one. Now you can see there's three. Enter again. Gonna 
go to the fourth hole. Hear the beep. Same thing again. Make sure all my values are right. Now, the next shape we're gonna start at is a rectangle. Or I could just, actually, we'll go back and we'll do squiggly lines and I'll just whack the corners, okay? So, we got four holes and then We'll go here. 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 And that should close it. Um, so now we have a cut file. What we're gonna do now is hit save. It's gonna save it as that file, 68. So remember that. Now exit, load. 68. Now, parameters. Tune. It's going to give us our feed rate, our X, Y, or our Z clearance, which that's going to play into how big of a, a curve or how big of a stroke our arc takes. Um, actually, no, Z, Z clearance is up and down. That's our torch height. And then Z cut is our actual cut height off of that. So a quarter of an inch, which we're gonna go um, 0.125 to keep it. We're gonna figure 0.9 is a curve and we're gonna hit enter, save. All right, so now move this pendant We'll bring the camera around and show you guys what's up. Okay. So pendant, since the arc droid is now out and about roaming, what we'll do is <clears throat> I'm going to hit home. She'll go back, back to home, okay? And now, if I'd want, well, it knows the stylus is in. That's what that emblem is there. But I'm gonna let it in. And if I want this to run, it should run everything we just did at 60 inches per minute at the feed, okay? Now there's no resistance on here for it to measure, so I put my finger here. There's one. It would blow the hole straight there in the center. Blow that hole. I'm just holding this. Blow that hole. And she would light off here in the corner. And cut exactly what we said, just that rectangle.
pretty stinking slick. Mm -hmm. So just like that, she's done. Now, say we burnt that out. Well, we'll let it ride at that. I was going to say we can burn that out and say we wanted to do one, the exact same one over here. Um, I believe I would just move this arm over here where I know I have clearance. And if I'm not mistaken, this I'm not sure of, so bear with me. There's where our stylus is. If I would hit zero, it would bump it to there, which shows me it's it's into that. So we'd have to move that out zero again. And it would run from that point. I could cut a second one out. So super simple, just got it back. Uh, it has more functions on it than I'm aware of now. Auto level thing keeps your torch height um, I don't know how it works or what it is, but it has something to do with your torch height and these trace functions. I know you can change your cut order with that one, two button, if I'm not mistaken, and it has different shapes now, triangles, circles. Um, not really sure. what all this is like i said and it's it since i've messed with it the first time it has had a software update and some of the stuff is new which is for the better so anyway it appears to be working have, hasn't have not made a cut with it yet but all in all it's a pretty sweet unit unit the only thing we got to do to hook it up is ground the table or ground the part Get the plasma cutter over here, plug it in, and then um, your trigger wires from your plasma cutter go in one and two slot there, and you're off and running. I have this machine, which I don't know. I like the fact that the it's newer and that this cable is soft. It doesn't interfere with the motion of the arc droid as much versus my old hypotherm over here the lead is very very stiff and the plastic is old um but this cuts better than that even though this is that's a new machine and this hypotherm is heck probably from i don't know 2005 maybe so anyway that's the Arc Droid. Thanks for checking it out. More to come.